of VAT. Refund of VAT. So the question here is when or under what circumstances? Under what circumstances? So for the commissioner to refund VAT, the taxpayer or the taxable person, the registered person, must make uh, an application in writing and you must prove and provide documentation as to why you should be uh, refunded the VAT that you've already paid. Now remember that we had said earlier that a taxpayer will pay VAT because his collecting is appointed by KRA, by the commissioner, to collect VAT on behalf of KRA. So the taxpayer collects VAT on his uh, sales, what he called output VAT, and then deducts from the collected VAT, he deducts the VAT that is paid over to the suppliers. So he will take output VAT, deduct input VAT, that excess is what is VAT payable. And it is payable to the commissioner simply because the, we say the incidence of VAT lies with the final consumer. Now, there are the circumstances under which the commissioner will refund VAT is uh, the first one. If the taxpayer is making zero rated supplies. In our earlier lessons, we said a zero rated supply is a transaction that will attract VAT at zero percent. So in such cases, it means that if we go back to our account, which you said this is output tax, this is input tax. So you will have had purchases here. You've made purchases. And let's say on your purchases, you paid 100,000 as VAT. And then you had other taxable inputs. For example, rent, commercial rent, electricity, telephone, uh, audit. You got management consultancy services, such. The total of that, let's say it was uh, 50,000. But on your sales, you sold all your sales were zero rated or a very big proportion of your sales were zero rated. So you collected nothing. So when you balance this, you will have, you'll have paid 150,000. You will have collected nothing. Let's say, for example, if you're exporting and therefore you will have a VAT refund of 150,000. Because we are, again, we're saying VAT is not the incidence of VAT is not on the business it is always on the consumer so since it, this is what you are you've already paid then you get it from KRE so that is how a supplier of zero rated uh, supplies recovers his VAT from the commissioner the other condition is in case of bad debts what you're going to call bad debt relief now, in our earlier lessons, we said that a business, for tax purposes, a debt is going to be considered as bad at the earlier of two things. So one, expiry of three years since the date of supply, and two, if the debtor has been declared uh, bankrupt and you can actually show you have proof for it from a court of law. So in such cases, you're going to recover the bad debt that you, you paid on behalf of your debtor. And that arises because uh, if we flash back to the earlier lessons, we had said the tax point or the point at which tax becomes due and payable is the earliest of one, the date of the invoice, two, the date of delivery, three, the date when you receive cash, receipt of cash, whether in full or partial payment of a transaction, and four, in case of constructions, when you get a certificate from an, uh, an architect. So let's deal with these three, the earlier of invoice, delivery, and receipt of cash. 
Now, when you're selling on credit, invoice and delivery precedes the receipt of cash because you're going to receive cash much later. So it means, according to our tax point, if, for example, in January, we are selling goods worth a million, and the terms are that you're going to be paid in 60 days, that is the credit period, then, holding everything constant, this, we shall receive this, let's assume this is beginning of Jan, and so we'll get this in uh, March. So the payment shall be received in March. So if you are accounting for cash, this is when our bank gets debited. But according to this tax point, uh, we are going to account for this transaction, this credit transaction in January because in January, delivery preceded the receipt of cash. So, as a result of that, it means that every business will always fund its debtors for VAT purposes. So, should that business be declared bankrupt or three years have expired, that means there is no hope of ever getting that money back, then this VAT that you had paid over to the commissioner, you request the commissioner to uh, refund you or to allow you to deduct bad debt relief from your output VAT. Uh, then, the other one is inventory relief. Now, we said that at the time of registration, once you hit the threshold uh, turnover of 5 million and you request for registration but, and you apply for registration from the commissioner using the prescribed form, the commissioner will communicate to you after certifying that you are truly eligible for registration. He will communicate in writing and he will have a start, there will be a start date for levying or for charging VAT. We said once you receive that communication from the commissioner, you should immediately do a stock take. So when you're doing that stock take, you're determining your inventory at the point of registration. So we're saying all the goods that you have bought and are in stock at the time of registration, you are allowed to claim the VAT that you suffered or that you paid on such stocks before the uh, registration. So this inventory relief refers to the goods in stock at the time of registration and to any capital, uh, any construction or any capital assets that you may have bought 12 months prior to registration. Why? Because if, for example, we constructed a building and we paid VAT on inputs and you're using it in the production of our output, it is still relevant to us. So we need to claim the input VAT suffered. So capital goods uh, acquired 12 months prior to the registration is uh, claimable under this inventory relief. Then you also get a refund from the commissioner when tax is paid or had been paid in error. For example, if there was an arithmetical mistake when you are computing the tax or if you use the wrong rate, meaning that you overpaid the tax, then you can request. So here you talk of requesting for relief of error or mistake. Why? Because uh, in VAT, it is the taxpayer who prepares the return or what we called VAT account. So if you did any mistake in that preparation, then you're requesting the, the commissioner to allow you to correct that mistake. That is why we're, we're talking of relief of error or mistake. The other one is uh, when VAT has been paid in respect of goods that have been exported. So VAT paid on goods that are subsequently exported. You remember that all exports are zero rated. So it means that you need to recover that VAT. So these are the circumstances under which the commissioner is going to refund um, VAT that uh, a taxpayer may have paid. Mm -hmm.